Hello world, Lock Picking Dab here. Today I have a Federal Lock SS Series 720. We are at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, so you are hearing a celebration in the back because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So um, we are actually facing the Thomas Jefferson Memorial right now. Let's get this open real quick and show you around. And by show you around, I mean show you the party. There's one. Three, four, it was like, there we go, pin six in the back. That was definitely overset in two, so I'm dropping that. I could literally feel that just smush up in there. And one is good, and two is good, and three. There's another click on three. Nothing on one. Oh, it's in the back there. Pin six is set. Yep, pin six is set. Five, four, three. There you go. I'm gonna switch my angle here. So I think my pick is just not quite going straight in there. There we go. I think we just set pin two. It needed a little push. There was three. There we go. We're making progress. Pin four. If I get underneath it there. Four set and five is next. I feel that one. If I can get back there without hitting pin six, that is. Let's see. There we go, right there. We just got that one. Oh, that's our open. There's our open. All right, let me. Uh, Remove everything without dropping in the water. So there is our open. That is a Federal Lock SS Series Model 720. When I get home, I will gut that and show you all the pins inside. These are fun locks if you get a chance to get a hold of any. Um, <clears throat> real quick, here is the bedding, which I will show when I get home, when I gut it. And while I can, they're singing behind. There's actually some celebrations going on right now, which is really cool, perfect timing. So let me turn around and show you what's going on.
But yes, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, everyone. A beautiful day to be out here, and this is the spot to be in. All right, we're back, and I wanted to take you through uh, gutting this with me. So in the back here, there's a screw that you must unscrew, and it's kind of difficult to do because it is one of those screws that uh, has one of those heads where you can only tighten it but not loosen it. So what I did is I really um, dangerously shoved a flat head in really hard and tried turning it with my hand on the other side, which often slips and stabs you. But yeah, got it. And you can also see that this is hollow. And in between that and the back of it, that fits between that hollow part is the shackle retaining pin. Grab it here, there we go. So that fits under there. So you can actually see that on the outside of the lock, like that. So now we can take our shackle off and we can get our spring out. Should I get the key turned at the right spot there that where our ball bearings stay in the body right there. That way we can pull stuff out. So we still need to get our screwdriver down in here. Just trying to get it in the, line it up correctly. There we go. So that is how our nut there comes out. Oh, let's see the screw also has a little retaining washer on it. Oh. I'll deal with that later. Okay, so then now we can, assuming, we go pull that slides off and here is our, our body so now we can get it Get the dang seat clip off. Of course. It just slides over the hole so it's been wasn't <clears throat> easy just to pull off the normal way here. Oh, it looks like it's caught now, so maybe it will be. Nope. Dang it. Just come off. There we go. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Start over here. In there. And our follower right here. I'm going to turn it further to make sure that the tail end of the follower is the first thing to hit the driver. Um, yes, driver pins. There we go. 
Dang, you're upside down. There we go. Go out. And one. Oops, looks like we lost five and six there already. Fingers must have not been in place. Two, three, four, and five and six are in the right place there. And on the top, four driver pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So here are our pins. There we go. And you can see it mostly spools. And this one is interesting. It's a, uh, it is almost, if I had some spool on the, um, sorry, it was blurry there. It's just uh, recessed on the top and bottom a little bit. If it had a little bit of spool on top and the bottom, it'd almost be like an acid barrel. But yeah, mostly little spools on here, serrated key pins. So um, I would say very similar to um, American Locks and the Master Lock Pro series, except for this one little spool-like pen. Anyways, yeah, that is the Federal Lock 720. Six pins, very fun locks. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.